to break grace. Come on, somebody can do better than that. Send the bread, grace. Hallelujah. Hey, my goodness, I'm so humble. I was not expecting this kind of introduction from my king, my priest, my prophet, the husband of my youth. And I just want to say I am truly humbled. Today, I don't want to take much time. I want to give the more time to the oracle of God to release that mighty move of God upon our lives. My love, watching you as a husband every day, as you face your darkest days of your life and days of challenges which are behind the scenes that never be displayed on the screen. I always thank God that you always stand up and fight against it and get into this altar on every Friday, Sunday and Monday to release word with such immense power and such authority. My dear wife, you are an inspiration to the entire generation in the mighty name of Jesus. I am proud to say that you are a trailblazer in the arena of mission and evangelism. It is a true fact that you have resisted every gravitational pull that was trying to reduce your brand as a strong woman with a compassionate heart. As Michelle Obama says, when they went low, you went higher and higher. Higher and higher. And I am so proud and I love you so much for that. I love you so much for that. And it is my pleasure and honor to be called as your husband, the husband of your youth. You have taken us to the places that we have never been. You have taken us into the realms and revelations that you, we have never thought of. You have challenged us to forfeit the dismayed waters of mediocrity and enjoy the blissful wine of excellence in our life. You are a true icon of excellence. I may feel a little emotional when I say that. You are changing the world, shaking every nation. Every time, this is a true fact, when I look at you, you are always ready to give back to the community what you have been given. You have never responded to the negativity, but you were too busy shattering the ceilings of limitations and knocking down the closed doors and bringing down the walls and opening destinies for people. We are proud of you. We love you so much. We celebrate the grace upon you. I love you so much from the bottom of my heart with so much passion and vigor. Entire ECC family, Global network, friends and partners, sons and daughters. This is the time that we were waiting for. We are going to get into the next level. The oracle of God. The mother of the empowerment Christian church global. Peace with God. Power. Somebody celebrate grace. Come on, somebody can do better than that. Celebrate grace. Hallelujah. Hey. My goodness, I'm so humbled. I was not expecting this kind of introduction from my king, my priest, my prophet, the husband of my youth. And I just want to say I am truly humbled. You are the greatest blessing that God has given me. And can we just appreciate Papa Kamel? Your commitment and dedication to God's work is unmatched. Thank you for being my greatest encourager and a pillar of strength. Appreciate Papa one more time. Wow. Yes. My God, somebody say Ish. Ish. Mm. I'm trying to navigate to come back into the spirit. You know, 
Divinity does not dismiss humanity. Somebody say amen. amen. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. Divinity, divinity does not dismiss humanity. Does, does not, not dismiss, dismiss humanity. humanity. So for one minute I came out of divinity and I stepped into humanity. Mm. And uh, I love you, my kid.